look at the uh, solar installation, let's have a look at the mobile phone application for the SAJ hybrid solution that we've just installed for this customer. So what we're looking at here is basically a live feed of what's going on in the customer's property. So it's a really cool application to be able to have on your mobile phone and understand exactly where your power is coming from and how the system's performing. Every member in the family can get this device as well, so it's really good for education, especially for the kids. Now, what we're looking at here, obviously it's 5.08 in the afternoon. You can see on the top left-hand side of my uh, screen capture here. So it's quite late in the afternoon. So we're seeing some pretty low solar generation performance, which is to be expected. And it's currently generating 1.2 kilowatts from the solar panels on the roof. And we can see on the right-hand side, it's indicating what the customer's consuming power-wise, which is 374 watts in total. And then if we look down the bottom, we can see the battery system, which is currently sitting at 99% uh, capacity. So it's ready to take over all the internal loads for the customer's house through the nighttime period. Now they did this originally because they're looking for a system to future-proof the home, um, get rid of the worry of any increasing power bills or energy demands uh, into the future, but also to have a system that was modular that they could expand on as their energy needs change. So you can quite easily add further five kilowatt hour high voltage battery blocks to the system with the SAG battery uh, uh, solution. And you can also add more solar or PV as well with this particular customer's house. So we're looking at starting on the top left hand side today's energy. So 36.8 kilowatt hours of generation from the solar panels today. And you can see indicated by the animated uh, cloud covers there above the house. It's actually been quite a cloudy and miserable day here. We've had that for the last few days. So it's what we'd expect to see in generation. Now on a nice day or a good weather day, we'd probably expect to see in excess of 50 kilowatt hours plus. Now, as we scroll down this animated screen, we can see we've got self-consumption mode and also AI saving. So artificial intelligence saving is a feature the consumer can enable through the application and it works on algorithms to maximize the financial returns and the benefits from that solar investment with the battery system. So that's a really cool feature if you'd like to enable that. We don't enable that and we leave that perfectly up to the customer. Now, when we go down to energy statistics, this gives you an indication of what the system has generated since it was turned on, and it's only been installed for a couple of days. So, so far we're seeing 58.2 kilowatt hours of generation, and that'll break it down to month, current year, and total as the time goes on. Consumption basically shows us what the customer has consumed since the system was turned on, which is 30 kilowatt hours in total. And then we've got environmental benefits down the bottom, which calculate what your CO2 emissions reductions are since your system was, was installed. And that's gonna give you an idea of what you're doing environmentally within the house instead of using coal-fired power stations for your power source. So really cool application. The other reason the customer put this in, obviously with battery storage, is for emergency backup. And that's where the system really shines. So this inverter is a single phase 10 kilowatt inverter. It's basically like having a silent 10 kVA generator on site that doesn't need diesel or maintenance. This system will give you up to 10,000 watts of emergency backup for your essential loads within the house. So anything we wire up through that inverter will be uh, protected within a 10 millisecond change over time in the event of a grid, uh, grid loss. So really good for you know equipment within the house, fridges, TVs, lights, water pumps, everything you need to be comfortable during an extended blackout period. Now we can go to device down the bottom here and we can click into the unit itself and we can see it's operating normally, so it's in perfect performance. There's no alarms, important alarms or general alarms. If there's ever a fault or an issue with the system, it timestamps it and it actually sends us a notification as the installer as well as the consumer so you're aware the system may potentially have an issue that needs to be looked at. Then we can scroll down to PV information. We can see we've got PV1, 2 and 3 indicated where I'm clicking on the screen. What this is showing us is what panels are hooked up to what string. So at the moment we're only using two trackers, which is PV1 and PV2. And we have PV3 sitting there ready for the customer if they choose to add more solar panels to the system down the line. With the oversizing on the inverter, we can install up to a 15 kilowatt solar array. So you can get a lot of generation out of this system. Battery information gives you a snapshot on exactly what the system is doing. Battery capacity at 10.24 kilowatt hours. So that's two five kilowatt hour high voltage battery blocks in there with the control module. Then they can easily expand by adding more batteries down the line. Then we've got state of charge currently sitting at 99%. So that's nearly at 100% ready to take over all the loads throughout the night time to make sure they don't consume any grid power. And then we also have the discharge. So currently it's actually discharging at 697 watts to help cover the internal house loads. Now if we go back out of this screen, down to battery, we'll actually see a nice little snapshot here with the animated graphics are at 99%. 
it's telling us it's going to be fully charged in about eight minutes and then once it goes over to 100% battery consumption it'll actually indicate on this same screen how long you'll have at your current rate of discharge so if you're consuming a thousand watts it's going to tell you if you keep consuming a thousand watts you've got x amount of hours to get you through with that battery capacity so really cool uh, intuitive design on the application and we've got battery temperature operation of the battery and we can also go on the working modes and we've got some more features in here with the ai saving and also self-consumption mode we can also enable outage guard which means we can set a predetermined balance in that battery system that can't be discharged during normal grid use and you've always got a reserve there for emergency blackout uh, situations so that's a pretty cool feature as well we'll back out of that into an analysis now this is where we get into the nitty-gritty of the system we can break down reports based on day week and month and so forth once it accumulates data we can see today alone starting from the top here at energy we've got 36.9 kilowatt hours generated the customers consume 14.7 kilowatts of that and they've exported 22.1 kilowatt hours back to the grid and they'll be paid per kilowatt hour energy consumption so we're actually at 99.6 percent self-sufficiency with that uh, consumption pattern and they haven't actually imported any kilowatt hours whatsoever since midnight last night to 5 14 right now so they're 100 percent self-reliant which is absolutely brilliant power analysis we can look at all the information from today's data and we can use these sliders down the bottom of the screen to really hone in on certain areas of that graph and we can see here if we click on the screen at 5 50 this morning the solar started generating and started to charge the battery systems so the solar basically took over the pv throughout the day and charged the battery systems and covered all the loads and then we can zoom that out and see over on the left hand side that's midnight middle of the night so we're looking at even at uh, let's say two o'clock in the morning we can see there the battery system was discharging 358 watts while the customer was sleeping we'll still let 67 percent battery state of charge and that battery system completely covered their loads all through the night so really good information to have and this will also help to identify if you've got a device within the house that's not running efficiently as well and then we can cycle back to yesterday when the system was turned on for the first time for the installation started accruing data we can then click parameters on the right hand side and we can actually tick what we want to see on that graph and then basically confirm that and you'll see it'll actually simplify instead of having all those layers and we've got pv power and export power there indicated we can see that if we cycle over here to today's data so really handy information then we've got energy balance for day and week so we can see exactly what the system has done today with all that information by click clicking on those color codes so yeah basically if you're looking for a hybrid battery solar solution that's got emergency backup for grid loss you're looking to future proof the home get rid of the energy bills and not worry about the next price increase on cost per kilowatt then this is one of the most cost effective ways to do it and if you speak with certified we're a platinum partner with saj so we've got a really good direct uh, after sales support line with them we can pass on that convenience to the consumer to make sure the system's operating at peak performance and we'd be happy to provide you with a free uh, consultation on site have a look see how we can integrate one of these systems and uh, future proof your home of business look forward to hearing from you and see you around town